It's important to try and balance the amount of energy your body gains from your food with the amount of energy your body uses. If energy intake outweighs energy used, your body stores the surplus energy as fat. Mark Cullen used to be very overweight. This is him a couple of years ago when he first joined the Carnegie International Weight Loss Camp. Well, I've weighed 18 stone when I first went to the camp. It was really bad because I couldn't actually do anything. I couldn't run. I just couldn't do anything at all. The latest figures in the UK say that one in three children are overweight and one in ten children are obese. That clearly has implications for medical risks. Teenagers who are overweight can face many problems in later life, such as heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and they may not live as long. But why are young people becoming overweight? They eat, but they don't exercise. And I went to the camp first year, and I, I ate a lot, but I'd never like, exercised. Second year, I actually got it into my head that I'm going to eat, but exercise and burn it off. And that's what I've been doing ever since. The main aims of the camp are trying to get kids to have fun being physically active and enjoy it and, and do it because they get a buzz out of it. We calculate how many calories does each person need on a daily basis and that's the amount of food that we provide for them. What that then does is it allows us to use the exercise to cause the weight loss on the camp programme and that's really how we tip the balance in our favour. Lack of food tips the balance the other way energy intake becomes smaller than energy used. Some people go on diets to slim on purpose. But losing weight can actually be an illness. Anorexia nervosa is a, a psychological disorder that causes physical complications. A person with anorexia will have a fear of um, eating and gaining weight. They will have a fear of normal body weight and a fear of food. Claire first went into hospital with anorexia at the age of 10. It's a dangerous illness. My heart could have gone into failure at any moment because there was no fat on my body. Um, so your body starts to eat its own muscle, and one of your main muscles being your heart. I almost died. I weighed five and a half stone at my worst. Many people with anorexia nervosa, I mean, they will restrict their calorie intake, some people only eating 250 calories a day. Um, therefore, whilst they're extremely tired, they're unable to sleep because you need at least 1,100 calories just to sleep at night. And people with anorexia also tend to exercise a lot as well. So again, they're, they're burning more energy that they haven't got. So eventually there's a deficit. It's a deep psychological problem and people cope by using food. It's actually an addiction, like people misuse alcohol, misuse drugs. People also misuse food as a way of coping and controlling what's going on in their life. It is treatable, you can get better, and the earlier you catch it, the easier it is to treat. But it's important you go and seek help straight away rather than leave it too long.